my prayerful salutations at the lotus feet of Bhagwan, friends and fellow devotees. <coughs> it is with considerable heaviness of heart <laughs> that I try to speak a few words about Ruchir Desai, who has been a valuable colleague of ours. I had known Ruchir for nearly 40 years when he joined Swami's Institute of Higher Learning as a student. He had done his first degree, Bachelor of Commerce, and later Masters of Commerce, in both of which he distinguished himself with high accolades. He was a gold medalist, both during his first degree and the Master's degree. And later on, he went on to do his cost accounting and then joined the university. His genial disposition and willingness to undertake any responsibility that has been given to him was a striking feature. I still cannot bring myself to think that he is no more with us. In my eyes, he still figures as a young boy, not as a seasoned academician. The vivid memories that I have of him are those of 1980s. By mid-90s, of course, I had moved from the university and he had then become a member of the Faculty of Commerce and Management. And in which capacity he had grown. He was always willing to undertake any responsibility given to him. And even after I left the university and I was working in the office of the Sri Satisai Central Trust, he used to come and meet me whenever he came to Prashanti Nilayam from Whitefield. I never seen him with anything but a smiling face, a person of genial disposition, ever willing to work for the sake of the institute and the students. He spent his life as a bachelor in the hostel and must have been a great influence and inspiration for many students over these decades. But above all, he had a <clears throat> great determination to work as a devoted servant of Bhagwan. Nothing mattered to him more than being a very diligent servant of God. And that's what used to impress me, a single-minded devotion to his responsible position as a teacher, as a person in, who has been generally taking care of one of the most important institutions in Whitefield, namely the stores meant for not only the students but also for the general devotees. I always admired as to how he combined in himself the varied activities, each one calling for a different attitude. He was able to take them all in his stride and I never saw him tired for a moment. As I said, I cannot bear to bring myself to talk about him 
without becoming emotional. He is uh, one year junior to my first son and three years, um, three years senior to my second son. So they used to be together on many occasions and it is as though I have lost one of my sons. I know nothing happens without the will of Bhagwan. But when an incident of this nature happens, we are not in a position to take it as a dispensation of God because emotions still struggle and the first reaction is why did Swami take him away at a comparatively young age? But soon we reconcile ourselves to knowing that nothing happens except by the will of Bhagwan. And you must have good reason to take him at this point of time. I am particularly troubled because he leaves his aged mother behind. And it's very difficult for me to imagine what type of distress she must be going through. Although I know she is the type of person who accepts everything that happens as the will of Bhagwan. To her, I send my deepest feelings of condolences. And I do hope that Bhagwan gives her the strength to bear this loss. I know that all his colleagues would have the same feelings as I have now of being shocked and a sense of bereavement that must have overtaken them. I pray to Swami that even if I do not understand the reason for taking him away at this young age, because these days I think 50s is only a young age, especially for those of us who are in 80s and 90s. But I know it's a superior wisdom of God that has brought about this termination of life. I join my colleagues in the university and all other fellow devotees of Bhagwan in conveying my deepest condolences to his mother and praying for what would pass off as a good life as and when it is conferred by Swami. Thank you.